Today's freak storm, we had 90 tornadoes in one day last week. If climate change becomes really accepted by us, the headlines will change. Extra, extra, 90 tornadoes in a single day. The 1% publicly apologizes. Like that headline, see where I'm going here? Amen. Who really accepts in their blood, in their language, in their thoughts, in how they walk, that climate change is real? Well, the earth scientists. The earth, the earth scientists, they know that climate change is caused by humans. They know it's accelerating. They know it's deadly. And most of them are aware that the big banks are still putting billions into the coal industry, which is the principal spewer devil of CO2 emissions. Get thee behind me. Amen. Praise be. And who else really gets it? You and I do. People do. The 99%. And why is that? Because we're doing what people always do. We're doing what people have always done all day long, and that is we look up at the sky and we talk about the weather. And what is the weather? Well, it's 62 degrees in New York City in February. A little bit too nice today. Amen. Praise be. Then we pick up the paper, 90 tornadoes in a day. Relationship here, it's, it's Miami Beach in New York in February, 90 tornadoes in Kentucky. I drank a Guinness with a professional writer from a famous newspaper a couple days ago, just, just right a couple blocks south of Zuccotti Square in a place called Suspenders. He said it's journalistic neutrality, objectivity, excellence. He says, we cannot prove beyond a shadow of, of a doubt that climate change is real. Really? Evolution at one point was very strange and not accepted, certainly not accepted by the newspapers. Now, evolution is our basis for understanding the natural world. It's the logic that the natural world and human beings share. If we do something good with the earth, it's because we know that evolution is, is how nature lives. Now we have to do that same thing with, with, with climate change, but we, we can't just let it you know, happen at a lackadaisical rate. We need some people to break ranks. And yes, we need some journalists to do it, but all the storytellers, all the people who are out there in public, on the sidewalks, on the media, on the, on the radio waves, all of us have to break ranks. We have, to, we, have to, we have to see history differently. We have to have it come into our, our language, into our, into our bouncy bounce, how we're, walking, how we're walking down the street. Climate change has to be real for us. We've got to continually remind one another climate change is real. We've got to change history. Ask not what your climate can do for you. Ask what you can do for this earth, children. We've got to change now. Change, hallelujah. We've got to make the leap. It's going to be strange. Go out and do something for the climate now. Leave this YouTube. Go out. Put it in the middle of a sentence. Just say it out of the blue into a silent elevator full of people. Do it now. We've got to be activists. That's the kind of weather we got today. Earth-a-lujah.